So let's just summarize and go through a few examples of the cases that we've been talking about. That is, um, when you have a second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients and homogeneous, meaning zero on the right hand side, an equation like this. And what we've done so far is we've used the ansatz that the solution has exponential form with an unknown uh, exponent r times t. And when we make that assumption, we get the characteristic equation ar squared plus br plus c equals zero by plugging that in. So we get three cases for the solutions to this e equation. It's possible that we get two distinct real roots, and that happens when b squared minus 4ac is positive. So the square root gives us a real non-zero value in the quadratic formula. And when we're in that situation, we get two linearly independent exponential solutions out of e to the rt. So we have a general solution of the form c1 e to the r1t plus c2 e to the r2t. The second case is when we have a repeated root, that is the discriminant in the quadratic equation or the quadratic formula is zero. And there we only have a single root, call it r. In that case, we get one solution from our ansatz, e to the rt, and we used reduction of order to find a second one, t e to the rt. And the general form, or the general solution, will have the form as given here, which is c1 times e to the rt plus c2 times t e to the rt. And the third case is when the discriminant is negative, and that gives us complex roots, and I'll call those two complex roots a or alpha plus i beta. And in that case, we take the real part alpha and we put it in the exponent of the uh, exponential e to the alpha t. And we take the imaginary part multiplied by the i, the beta, and we put that in to two trig functions, which will multiply by our constants. So we get e to the alpha t times c1 cos of beta t plus c2 sine of beta t. So let's look at a few examples. Uh, so find the general solution to the equation y double prime minus 6y prime plus 8y equals 0. So here are some options. I'll let you work through that. Uh, maybe you should pause the movie and figure it out before we move on to the next one. Here's a slightly different example. I've only changed one of the coefficients by a single number, a single integer. So it's now a 9y. And uh, we have a different solution in this case. And I'll let you, again, work through and figure out which one is the correct one. And I encourage you to pause and do that now. And finally, with another slight change, we get yet a different problem. And here are the options for you to choose from. And I'll let you work through that. 